Hello and welcome to our newborn photography safety series brought to you by Stan and Baby. My name is Sandra Moffat and in an effort to make sure that we bring you all the information and facts relating to newborn safety, joining me throughout this series is well-respected neonatal nurse Anne-Marie Fieri, who will be advising us on the essentials to safely working with newborns in a studio environment. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about safety issues with newborn photography. But before we start, I'd like to say that if you are unsure about anything you hear during this series, please seek advice from a medical practitioner near you and get the answers that you need. If you have been given information from other sources, make sure it's a reliable source because the health and well-being of our clients should always be put first. In this tutorial, we're going to do a walkthrough of the TACO pose. We will be covering how to achieve this pose safely, as well as covering what to look out for and what to avoid. This pose is best for babies who naturally want to draw their legs up and under their bodies. But again, it is not a pose that every baby can do, and definitely not one I would do with babies who have unstable hips. Let's take a look. Taco pose is not an easy pose. It's definitely something that you're going to want to build up to. If you were just starting out, I would definitely be starting with the side and back poses. Um, but once you're feeling confident, and you know, definitely if you have a stand-in baby, practice it first. It's definitely not an easy pose to achieve and probably not something you, you are going to achieve the first time you attempt it. It does require the baby to, to be in quite a, a bent position. The way we're going to achieve that is I'm going to use a rolled up towel it's going to be placed underneath the blanket and it's going to be a shelf that's going to support the baby's head. The reason why we need that is because... 